at least two things are cool about individual bonds and bond ladders. That's next. If new bonds are purchased as older bonds mature, then you get a recurring or rolling ladder. A ladder may be comprised of any sorts of bonds to effectively achieve a self-managed fund. In practice, it's only practical for CDs and U.S. Treasuries because you can purchase these without a transaction cost or commission. So if you have the time and discipline, you can build your own fund, thereby avoiding the expenses of a managed fund. That would be one of two good reasons to use individual bonds rather than a bond fund. But it's hard to beat the expense ratio of a good bond fund, and we'll talk about these in the next video. The second reason to own individual bonds is a little less common, but it's worth mentioning. Last video, we introduced the concept of duration as a measure of a bond's sensitivity to changes in interest rates. A bond fund usually maintains a relatively constant duration, but both an individual bond or CD and a non-rolling ladder has a duration that decreases over time to zero. This means that they become less sensitive to interest rate changes as they approach maturity. That makes them perfect to fund a date certain future liability. In fact, you could continue to buy them for that target date, as I'm showing here. This collection of CDs or bonds is called a non-rolling ladder. Now it's time for some fun. I'll give you two facts. You choose the fact that's true. Here's one. Bond ladders can have lower annual expenses. The other. A bond fund is riskier than a bond ladder. A bond fund is no riskier than a bond ladder with the same duration. All bonds have interest rate risk and a fund is just a portfolio of individual bonds. If interest rates rise, whatever kind of bond you own is instantly worth less. It doesn't matter if you stay invested and didn't realize this loss, it is worth less from the amount of opportunity you are losing out on if you could invest at the new higher rate, or if you're using CDs limited by the amount of the early withdrawal fees. But suppose you answered the question thinking of a long-term bond fund and a short-term bond ladder. Well, then it would be riskier. And kudos to you for recognizing that. The importance of duration is one of the most important things to understand about bonds. This is true. It's usually possible to buy CDs or treasury bonds when issued without a fee. So a rolling bond comprised of these would be a way to create a bond fund with the lowest possible annual expense. However, stay away from other types of individual bonds. They often come with hefty fees of a few percent that are unfortunately not visible to ordinary investors. You're usually better off buying a low cost bond fund and that's what we'll talk about next. Please give us a thumbs up if this video was helpful to you and to subscribe to our channel, click here. Thanks for watching.